Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. On Friday, October 4, a box arrived at work. It was a shipment from my favorite hobby store, toms.nl. So there were mostly green light items in that box, uh, but also two uh, other items I bought because they were in a damaged packaging and therefore reduced in price. So here's the uh, Mercedes Benz 5 pack with all very cool cars in it. And uh, well, it was uh, ripped open on top, so that's why it was cheaper. So I'll uh, open that one up in a different video. And then here's a uh, Hot Wheels Fast and Fur Furious Fast 5. is the 2009 Nissan GTR. You can see there's a tear in the packaging. So that one was reduced also. Here's the other cars in the set. I don't have any of them because I refuse to pay these crazy prices that Mattel is asking here in Europe so I uh, grab what I can get but otherwise you know if I don't get them I'm not going to cry about it very nice silver version of it lens headlights very cool so let's get to the green light some older items and then some um, uh, green machines, uh, mostly newer items. Um, so we're going to open up most of these. Um, the older ones I found some extra information on, like this one. Uh, this is the Black Bandit Series 16, the 1986 Chevrolet G20. Uh, this was released in January 2017. It was produced uh, in uh, four, so 4,823 total were produced and 96 of them, 2% of the production were green machines. Uh, the green machine of this would be um, in a have green rims and green chassis. So here's the other cars in the series. So what I've done here, uh, I've put the price uh, above the uh, green light number so I will show this every time if I don't forget uh, if you're uh, into this uh, vehicle and you uh, kind of want to look it up on uh, Google you can uh, just enter this number uh, with GL in front of it GL for green light and then 27880 and then you will find this uh, model so uh, let's take a look at it This is number 2270. So of course this is not in the green machine, this is just a regular version. Uh, but I like these vans very much. Um, not a huge fan of Black Bandit series per se. But uh, if they are a two-tone color like this and they still have the chrome accents, I really like uh, the look of them. Uh, all blacked out, I'm not such a big fan, but like this, this is very nicely done. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Got the BB on the back. Got a, seems like a plastic bumper that is separate insert. Yeah, looks really cool. Next up in the Country Roads Series 13. Uh, this is the 1972 Chevrolet C10. Uh, it's called the Eagle Mod with small camper. So this is for my uh, camper collection. Here's the other cars in the series. And then here's the price and the green light number if you want to look it up. So this is number 4040. Uh, this was released August 2015 in 5750 pieces and 115 green machines. The green machine would have a green machine body. So you can see the eagle painted on the side. That's probably why it's called the eagle mod. And there's uh, some sleeping room in the back. 
within a mattress or something. So I suppose this, yeah, this top is plastic, but everything else is metal. Very cool. Then we got this Motor World, the American Edition Series 12, the 2013 Chrysler, Chrysler 300C. As some of you know, this is a casting I collect. These are the other vehicles in the set. Um, so this was released January 2015. 3,926 pieces, 80 of them green machine. And this would have uh, green rims and chassis. So the green, uh, Motor World ones have a plastic base, number 2004 this is, and metal body. So this got the uh, LEDs up front, 2013 version. Nice shiny chrome rims. And I got this hitch and toe one, is also a bit of an older item. So series 5, the 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 and horse trailer. So this is how I like them when they have a civilian deco, two different colors. And of course I like blue Silverados as some of you know. So this was released uh, January 2016 in 7750 pieces of which uh, 135 green machines. So the green machines would have, the vehicle would have green rims and chassis and the trailer would only have the green rims. So number 5154 A nice blue color. It's got some kind of a uh, box in the back to put some uh, some stuff in. Got the trailer hitch, of course. Nice chrome bumper, back and front. And here's the, uh, the trailer. Apparently, it has. Opening doors, they are taped shut. Feels very light. Uh, seems like I'm not sure if the yeah the base is metal and then the box is plastic. Um, oh yeah, the thingy I have to get it out of the plastic. The jack. That's what the word, word, word. That's the word I was looking for. Sorry. So this is painted black in the front here. That's a bit weird. And then the rest is uh, gray. Very tiny wheels. Well, very thin wheels. I mean, white rims. And you can look inside. Wow, nicely detailed inside. So you got the uh, division part for the horses, left and right. Let's close the left one and then the right one I think. No, it's the other way around. First right and then left. No. <laughs> but how does this work? Well, maybe it's not supposed to close all the way because otherwise you can't maybe can't pull it open again. And then this is what it looks like together. Very nice. Very realistic looking. And another hitch and toe set, but this is a newer one. And this was reduced in price because it, because it was cut open by them to uh, for a photo shoot. So this is, uh, what series is this? Uh, I don't see it. Okay, I can't see which uh, series this is. Um, 
it's uh, in Indianapolis Motor Speedway one, so maybe it's just a one-off. It's got the uh, hologram, the licensing sticker. Here's some info on the uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It's the Chevrolet, it's the 2019 Chevrolet Silverado and concession trailer. Opening rear hatch, it says. Oops. A lot of plastic. So here's the new Silverado number 512. Racing capital of the world, it says. Nice looking front end there. In the back, it's also got the uh, circuit logo on the back here. Very cool. And then did not have this trailer yet either. Opening hatch. I don't know what hatch opens up here. This opening. Oh yeah, it does. Look at that. Yeah. So like that, maybe this one opens to do, I'm not sure, yeah, this one opens to do, so that's kind of cool, look at that, so kind of a uh, cashier booth, so you can uh, pay to get in, very cool, it's got the window in the front too, a lot of gas cans here and a little box, so again, metal base, plastic body, Got the aircon unit and some, uh, I don't know, maybe for a heater, chimney for a heater maybe, I don't know, who knows. But this is very cool, yeah, looks very nice, you got a picture of the, of the building on the circuit, yeah, that's really cool, very good looking. And that's what it looks like together. So cool they did a different color on it, so that's nice. Of course got everything um, concerning the racing circuits to advertise it. That's logic. Then we got some station wagons. This is from the Estate Wagons Series 3, the 1970 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser Green Machine. So here's the other cars in the series and then here's some info. So normal price of the normal version would be 7 and then I paid $8.99 for the Green Machine. Uh, here's there's In this case there's not only a number, there's also a letter. So uh, this uh, Oldsmobile is the third uh, car in this um, estate wagon series. That's why it's called a C. Uh, so GL 29950C. And then you can find this online. So this is number 223. It's got the green base and the green rims. License plate GL658. So I think the back opens up on this one. Yeah, like that. Very cool. It's got a uh, kind of a yellow interior. That is pretty cool because you don't see that often on a die cast car, but it works very well with the, uh, the outside uh, color. Uh, some kind of a Nugget yellow, I think it's called. I'm not sure. Very cool casting. Got trailer hitch also, like all of them have. All the estate wagons ones from that series. And then another station wagon from the Hot Pursuit. 1987 Ford LTD Crown Victoria wagon. This is series. 32. These are the other cars in the series. I have another one I will show later on. So this is 
the info, the numbers. So 4052 is the number on this one, green base, uh, green rims, so metal on metal, it's uh, from the CSI division of Louisiana, so it's got blacked out windows in the back, and this should also fold down if it wants to, it's kind of, mm, I'm not going to force it doesn't seem to want to come down, so I'm going to leave it as is. Very cool wagons and green light makes. Love to collect these. Uh, this is the other Hot Pursuit item I have uh, from the New York City Police Department. It's the 1990 Chevrolet Caprice. Not going to open up this one because uh, I'm keeping that for a uh, New York City episode. So here are the numbers. Here's the uh, New York City hologram licensing sticker. Then we got some hobby exclusives. This is the Astro Vet, the 1969 Chevrolet Corvette. Uh, here's uh, an explanation on the what this uh, Corvette is all about. You can freeze the frame if you want to read this. So here are the numbers. Let's take a look. So this is number 4281. That's a high number. Metal green chassis and green rims. Very nice looking rims by the way. It's a very cool casting. Uh, I've seen another one, a blue one, from I think the Meekum Auctions series, I think. It looks very nice. At least it was one of the auction ones. Could be the other one. Barry Jackson, I'm not sure. Very cool looking, gold and black. Very nice. Happy to have found it. Another hobby exclusive 1965 Shelby GT350. I don't, like, don't buy a lot of um, muscle cars from Greenlight because they just have so many and just uh, you can't collect everything but when they are cool like these I will pick them up. Here's a little bit of a story on uh, Carol Shelby is the numbers and uh, I thought this was cool because I don't know if you will be able to read it in this blue printing but this is from the Carroll Shelby School of High Performance Driving so I thought that was very cool had to have that so this is number 55 so this is a green body green machine it's um, uh, I threw it on the ground. I was going to, sorry about that, I was going to compare the actual vehicle with the version that uh, Greenlight did. So they did a very accurate job, you know, the, the rims look very much alike, all the lettering and the numbering on it is very good. The only difference uh, that is a little bit lacking is the front bumper, well at least uh, Part beneath the bumper so the um, this bumper is probably molded into the casting but th that piece is missing on the real vehicle you can see uh, the opening here um, but then underneath it's uh, it's a little bit different than, uh, than this casting so that's the only thing I could see that is not really um, appropriate to the real vehicle the rest is uh, very much spot on and very nicely done by uh, by green light so uh, all in all, you know, they pr probably would have to retool this uh, to make it accurate, so maybe that would cost them too much. So they did like this, and well, I'm fine with that. Very nicely done. I don't know. Does this open? Yeah, this seems to be open, but also kind of difficult, so I'm not going to force it. 
that's not that important for me opening parts anyways another hobby exclusive the Vendura 1983 GMC so kind of a advertising for GMC in the back here and here are the numbers So number 2774, um, this one, yes, is metal and metal is very heavy, green chassis, green rims, very cool. So this was originally, of course, the uh, 18 van, very cool looking, very nice deco, suffered some uh, packaging rub, but uh, I will try to get that off, hopefully I can. But you know, white colors, always issues with those. And here we got our first raw green machine. It's the still a hobby exclusive. Is the 1977 Plymouth Fury, seven original miles. Now, unfortunately, there's no explanation on the back. But basically, what I know about this is a. Um, a taxi company from New York ordered this car and uh, put it aside in the warehouse and never drove it so uh, it only had seven original miles on it and I think it recently sold on auction uh, and was restored I think um, but you know I'm not that knowledgeable on that uh, they should have just put some explanation on the back that would have been would have been much cooler, much more interesting. Uh, if you want to m know more about this uh, or about green light in general, check out um, Mig's models on YouTube. Uh, he, a very cool channel. Uh, he is very knowledgeable on uh, cars and diecasts, and uh, he has a lot of things to say about. Uh, all these cars and uh, diecast models so uh, very much like watching his videos so check him out if you like this kind of stuff uh, he doesn't have as many uh, green machines as I do but uh, he knows a lot more about the cars and the diecast than I do very nicely looking very nice Taxi sign on top also it says yellow. Looks cool. Still got the orange rims. Then we've got Tokyo Torque Series 6. I've got two of the green machines from that series. 1973 Datsun 510. Here's the other vehicles in the set. And here are the numbers. This, I think, is my first green light 510. Does this open up? Yeah, also, but I eh, don't want to force it. So, this is uh, the number 95 Paul Newman version. Number 5541. By the way, did I show this? This was number 69, so pretty low number on the, on the taxi. Uh, metal metal of course green base green rims the lensed tail lights got a little bit of a red white and blue theme going on here clearly cool and then we got another raw green machine from that same series the 1971 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR I think regular color is white, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. I think this is my fourth uh, raw green machine. 2725 is the number. So this, was this, I don't know, doesn't seem to open up. So you got the intercooler in the front, painted headlights. PMCS it says Skyline here. Also got the lensed taillights, no rear bumper, no front bumper also. 
got a uh, plastic wing on the back spoiler cool now I got some uh, HD trucks from series 14 1971 Chevrolet C30 Ram truck and the 1968 Chevrolet C10 so I also wanted an example of uh, this style of tow truck so why not get a green machine right so here's the other vehicles in the set also have this one as a green machine this one also appeared as a green machine but I already have one from another series so I did not want to pick up two of those one is enough here's the numbers so let's see if we can get these out without breaking anything because you know these bigger ones are hard to get out and I'm trying to maybe try to push them from the back I don't like to do this they are very snug and here you see what happens then the, the railing comes undone so you see I have to try to glue that back in so this is a plastic base number 3273 I have to look stain in for now yeah, clumsy. Very nice grill. It says, what does it say? Prompt, dependable, quality, super service, Chevrolet, roadside service. So 24 hour towing. So would this have been an actual Chevrolet towing vehicle back in the day? Maybe it was, who knows? It's got the winch on the back. Very nicely painted um, lights here to uh, light up the platform. That's a nice detail. Got some storage here on the side. And then these, uh, these ramps clip onto that. Well, I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to spend time on that. So that's cool for my tow truck collection. And then pickup truck this one is metal on metal it does not have a number in it so it's the same number as uh, that one it's got a little bit of a wonky wheel here in the back if you can see that so I'm not sure if I will be able to correct that it might be a little bit hard to do but oh well yeah like that it's better seems to be better already maybe that's just my idea anyways very heavy casting a lot of metal on this one so this is a both of them are green body green machines that's very cool double exhaust very nice I don't know if it will stay on. Yeah, it does. Cool. Looks very nice. And then from that same series, the International Durstar Ambulance. I think there's still one up for sale on the on their website, toms.nl. So this was the same price as the regular version. So always like that not having to pay extra for a green machine, even a green body green machine but you know they had two of them and one did not sell as of the time of filming so this is a uh, metal body plastic base number 868 So, also pretty heavy. Cool that the box is metal, like that. 
very nicely detailed in the back look at that very nice fire department emergency medical service dial 911 ALS unit yeah cool very nice and also a uh, plastic insert here on the front yeah, that is very nicely done even the little lights here and on top of the cabin yeah cool they sure put some effort in it okay I have to just make sure nothing crashes into one another so um, I had planned a um, separate NYPD episode because I had a lot of NYPD items so this is a um, Hollywood Film Reels box, the NYPD edition, four car collector set with a 2016 Ford Police Interceptor utility green machine and all the other ones are the regular ones, 2016 Dodge Charger Pursuit, 2008 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor K9 unit and then 2008 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor Auxiliary. Uh, so here's the uh, yeah the cars in the set as I said We've got the New York City hologram licensing sticker so very nicely priced down that's the stuff I like um, but uh, the third item that I had ordered that would make the separate NYPD uh, edition well video uh, they, uh, they it wasn't in the box and instead they sent me a wrong item this supernatural film reels box Hollywood film reels box with a green machine wrangler in it but you know I'm not really interested in these vehicles in this box so I'm going to uh, switch this return this I mean for what I ordered because uh, what I ordered was left behind at their headquarters so I will uh, get that uh, probably in a few weeks and then I will do a separate video on all these NYPD green machine items uh, and then the last thing I want to talk about uh, in one of my previous green machine videos I showed this one uh, I bought it because it was cheap because uh, I don't really collect uh, this vehicle the Chevy Monte Carlo um, so I decided uh, this would be a giveaway one day I've already done one giveaway um, so when I reach a milestone on YouTube or whenever I feel like it I will uh, give this one away and I also said in that video, wouldn't it be cool if I also found the Green Machine version of it? Well, here it is. So this is the Green Machine version. So the white one is replaced by a green body Green Machine. With the very nice blue uh, details on it. And then the raw version next to it. Uh, is also a green machine version to get a green ring around the rims and I'm guessing the chassis is green too but that's hard to see here so I'm still uh, keeping my word uh, this will be a uh, giveaway one day but now it's just become much more interesting um, there was only uh, 2028 pieces produced of this this apparently is a hobby exclusive released in January 2016 so 2% of 2028 is only 41 pieces of this green machine so that is pretty rare so yeah one day one of you lucky guys or girls will end up with this one at least if you keep watching my videos so that's it for this video I thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already hope to see you again next time bye bye